Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your week ahead. This is for the first week of April for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to use the Celtic Cross for this spread, for this uh, uh, segment, and then I'm going to go back to my regular one. Just decided to change it up a little bit for this one weekly segment. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we got for Sagittarius? What do we have for Sagittarius? Oh, you need to make, you need to make a decision, a decisive decision. I mean, you have to make a decision and stand by it. Okay. This could be a person in your life that has made a decision. This is a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or you need to take on this energy of, you know, being firm. This person could be, you know, causing conflict for you. If it's not you, you could be dealing with somebody that is really testing you. Mm, the challenge is either holding on or letting go. What are you going to do? You have to make a decision. Do you want to keep holding on? Do you want to keep, you know, holding on to something? Or do you want to let it go? That's the question here. Perseverance. We got some perseverance here. You have to make a decision, like, right now. Uh-oh. This is, like, going backwards. Stuck. Bad luck. This is a run of bad luck. Be, be, you have to take action right now. This is you needing to take action right now. You find those resources within you. You do whatever it takes to bring success to your life. You have to. You have the power. You have the tools. You have the resources, but you have to take action. And that means, I mean, the magician sheds things to bring success. You think of a snake shedding its skin. That's what that is. Something has to let be let go of that you've been holding on to. It could be an addiction. could be a thought. It could be a person. Something needs to be let go of. I think there's been some sort of betrayal here. I think it, there's been some sort of ending. There's been some deception. And you need to take back your power, Sagittarius. You have to take back your power. And that means cutting something out that you've been holding on to. It could be an addiction. It could be a person. It could be anything. Here in the past, this is something you love, something that, that fulfilled you emotionally. It could be. It could be alcohol. It could be an addiction. It could be anything. Something that fulfilled you emotionally for a period of time but didn't have no um, ability to last, okay? Okay. So something that may have felt good for a minute, but no, you know, long-term emotional contentment. I feel as though there's something you guys need to cut out of your life to bring success. And you know what it is. I don't have to tell you. This is betrayal. Uh, you may be betraying yourself by holding on to something that, you know, isn't really fulfilling, but it feels like it is in, in the moment. Anyway, this is a run of bad luck going backwards. So something could be bringing you backwards. Mm. You guys are sacrificing yourself. Needlessly, there's no reason to. It's like you're holding on to something that's false. Okay? It is. It is. It's like something that gives you some sort of gratification, but there's no stability there. Something you need, need there's something needs to be cleansed out of your life. Something needs to come crashing down and you need to rebuild, but it's like you haven't allowed it to happen yet. Mm -hmm. reluctant to move on, reluctant to let go, feeling insecure, feeling unstable, not wanting to ask for help. I think you need to ask for some help, Sagittarius. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Don't be afraid to ask for help. It doesn't mean you're weak if you ask for help. It means that you're wise. It means that you're willing to do whatever you have to do to succeed, even if it means asking for help. I feel as though you guys are hanging on to something that is false. It's not it's not helping your stability. It's causing instability. 
okay? And in order for you to, you know, find success, you're going to have to find some sort of other route. You're going to have to take action, okay? And that means that <clears throat> you can't keep delaying. You can't keep delaying moving on from whatever this is. It's like you're delaying your own peace. You're delaying your own happiness by not making a decision that needs to be made. You need to cut something out of your life. You know that. And this is not not wanting to make that decision. There's so much indecision. It's like you're delaying the inevitable. You know, you have to move on to get to a better place. You, and it's like you want to get to a better place, but you don't want to, you know, take the, use the resources perhaps to change. So, magician makes changes. So that is what you need to do to bring good things into your life. You have to change something. And that's what this is. And I know many people don't want to hear that they have to change, but that is reality. If you do not change, your life does not change. So anyway, I feel like we have this right here, the Six of Swords reversed. This is, you know, I think that you're reluctant to move on because you probably think that you can't do it. Maybe you, you're thinking that nobody's going to help you or you're thinking that you're not going to succeed. Well, those are thoughts, okay? Those are thoughts and that's all that is. We're going to go back around. We're not going to clarify this Nine of Wands. This is you holding on to something. And you need to make you need to make a decision. Are you going to cut it out? Are you going to let it go? What's it going to be? Are you going to hold on to it? I think you've held on to something for a long, long, long time. And it's only bringing you backwards. It's bringing you bad luck. No, oh, you got to be practical. You got to be disciplined and you got to be devoted to change. You guys are thinking about, you're thinking about uh, ending it. You're thinking about letting go. You're thinking about it, right? Something that's not fulfilling emotionally, but you're addicted to it, right? So I think you guys are thinking about dropping it. You're thinking about ending it, but in order to do that, you might have to push some people away. You might have to defend yourself. You might have to... Um, put restrictions up. You might have to um, basically demand respect from people. You might have to stop people right at your door and say, nope, you aren't coming in because you don't support my highest good. Don't let people in that have betrayed you or hurt you or or if it's even things if it's not people if it's a drug or whatever it is you might have to just start protecting yourself and don't if people come to your house and they're bringing you that shit don't let them in they're not your friends anyhow i don't know who that message was for this right here is something that has really been a burden you need to drop it. It's not emotionally fulfilling. It's held you back long enough. It's caused poor health and illness within you, whatever this is. I think for many of you, it is some kind of drug. For some of you, it's a person. It's caused ill health. It has caused uh, you to bear burdens that you don't need to bear. Make a conscious change to drop anything and everything that doesn't emotionally fulfill you in the long run. Forever. You need to be practical. You need to be wise. You need to be disciplined. Cut people out of your life if they do not serve you. People and things. Somebody has been through a run of ill health. They've had poor health. And it's because they're lying to themselves about something that feels stable. It feels good. It looks good, but it's not good. Somebody has fallen victim to some false entrapment.
It's, it's okay. It's okay. You have the ability to start over. This is taking a new approach, but a new stable, wise, practical approach. Starting over at the very beginning, yes, you may have to learn some new things. Maybe you have to begin completely again, and by doing that, you have to let go. You have to. You have to let go of um, trying to control, thinking that you can control. It's like you are meant for better things. You are meant for bigger things, but sometimes that means that you have to take the road less traveled and face adversity and remain focused and remain disciplined. You have to work hard. You might have to start from scratch. Whatever you're holding on to, it's just causing you pain. You may be trying to mask the pain and it's bringing you backwards. You know, there's an opportunity for contentment. There's an opportunity for happiness. Somebody somebody's will help you if you ask for help. If you need help, ask for help. You've got somebody that will support you. I'm going to get some more cards up here. This is protect yourself. Take the power. That's the sort of power. Take the power in your own hands. Even if you're scared, you got to face your fears. I think you guys are dealing with some conflict in your life, and you're going to need to find those resources within you to actually face that conflict head on, whatever it is. You guys are stuck. You're stuck. I think you may be, you know, resisting change, and, you're, and it's going to be a struggle. It is going to be a struggle to, you know, become the new you that you need to be. I think this is. I think you guys are struggling to manifest because of some inner conflict, your own inner conflict, you know? You're struggling to manifest because of inner conflict. There's something that's holding you back. Could be a partnership, could be alcohol. Something that you are partnered up with that you are not compatible with. You are partnered up with something that you are not compatible with and you're gonna to need to find the strength and the courage and the confidence and the willpower and the resources, you know, the self-love, the self-respect, the confidence, I think I already said that, the uh, power to cut it out, whatever it is. You presently have to take action because you are in some sort of partnership with something that is keeping you stuck it's making you upset and it's not bringing you success. And you can have success as soon as you make that cut. Approach. Stop being vulnerable. Find your confidence, find your willpower and your discipline. I'm not kidding. Whatever it is that you are engaged in, it's false. It's not helping you. It is basically, I mean, I see illness here, too. It's time. Look at what it's done. It has. It's caused a lot of stress and anxiety and sleepless nights for you. You know, you need sleep to, to be successful. If you can't sleep at night, then you're going you're gonna to have a hard time during the day. So I, I really feel like you guys have been really stressed over your present circumstances, but you're not willing to move on from it. This is denial. Blocking. An inability to see the truth, even though you know the truth. Avoiding the truth. The truth is you need to move along from these false thoughts, this false foundation, whatever this is, that's providing instant gratification, but that's it.
You're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's time to stop playing. It's time to stop playing this game. I think that you're dealing with a lot of tension in your life because you're so indecisive. It's time to block out and stop moving in that direction. It's time to put it to a halt. Goodness, I think that we definitely some pe somebody watching this has issues with alcoholism. I don't know who it is. It's not going to be for everybody. So for those of you who comment, I don't drink alcohol. Goodbye. You need to use your common sense. Not every word I say is for you. We have somebody here that has an alcohol problem, and it is hindering their success to a high degree. A very it's a, it's emotional somebody is trying to to mask their emotions their feelings their pain with escaping the reality of whatever with whatever they're trying to escape it with there's like codependency here it's like i don't know it's a big mess it is <sighs> going back and forth needing to put it to a halt stop stop this is a lot unable to master emotions you know, it's time for you to take action right now. Stop thinking about it. Just take action. Nurture yourself. Take care of yourself. Give yourself a little bit of tender love and care. So I feel as though you guys need to take action. Pronto. Pronto. Um, fears and hopes. Well, it's like you want to move on. <coughs> right? You want peace. You want to get to that better place, but you are avoiding doing the work. You're avoiding it. You're avoiding uh, opening your eyes like you got this blindfold on. Yeah, you want peace. You want harmony. You want balance, you know, but you're not doing anything about it. You're blocking the truth. It's like you don't want to own any of it. No offense to you guys. I love Sagittarius, okay? You have to make a painful, stressful decision to cut out and stop blocking the truth. You know what this is. It's caused a lot of poor health, ill health here. Something is causing your health to decline. You know what it is, and it's time for you to take that blindfold off and face it head on. And it could be a partnership. It could be a person. It could be a drug. It could be a job. There's no growth. It's negative. Own it. time to move on. It's time to master your emotions and take the reins. Take the lead. Be the boss. Replace that fear with faith and let your life transform. But you are in the driver's seat. Nobody is going to change your life for you. It's going to take a lot of discipline. A lot. Find the discipline To move away from whatever this is that is hindering your growth. Don't lie about it anymore. You can't lie about it and say, oh no, I don't have a problem. Somebody has a problem and they're saying they don't. We got that clear. It's clear. It's clear. I don't have a problem. Bullshit. The overall outcome, ask for help. If you need help, ask for it. Don't delay. Stop delaying.
you're wasting your time and you're going downhill find that confidence and that courage and the willpower to hold your head up high and take a new approach make a decision and stand by it be decisive You could be dealing with a person that is abusing you and you're allowing it. Take the power in your own hands, make a decision, and stick to it. You gotta be practical here. You gotta be responsible. And discipline is huge. Huge here. Huge. One card for Sagittarius for the week ahead. You guys need to cut out something that you are partnered up with, whether it is a drug, alcohol, person, or a job. It is hindering your growth. You know what it is, and it's time to come out of denial and find that inner strength, that force within you to say, uh uh, no. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without abundance. It is time to bring balance back to your life. You got to be logical and you got to be practical and you have to take a new approach. You're going to have to find that force within you like you have never found it before to bring success to your life. There is an opportunity for success. <laughs> but you're going to have to find the discipline to face opposition to take the reins and to head in a new direction and once you do that the discipline once you find that discipline and you stick with it and you really 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 have to stick with it once you find that discipline you will head right towards victory and success but until then I mean, that right in the near future is going backwards. If you don't want to go backwards, you have an opportunity at this very point in time to make a different choice. You do. If you want success, make a different choice, period. And stick with it. And that is what I have. I love you guys, and please don't take this personally. Anybody who fills you up with bullshit, they aren't your friend. <laughs>